All right, guys, gonna start out here with this one bait challenge with the chatter bait that was sent out. Of course, I sexed it up. Look at Chris bringing sexy back. <laughs> with a Fat Albert, a Zoom Fat Albert tail. I uh, talked to my buddy James down there in Louisiana. He's part of the challenge. See how he was doing. I think this Zoom Fat Albert grub uh, added a lot of nice action to this chatter bait. Right. Got our first hookup. That was about, I oh, say the fourth cast. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. First one on the boat. Guys, there's the first one. Nice. There we go, boys. Oh, that's a nice bass. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hell yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go, boys. Thank you. All right, boys, here we go. Number three here. Oh, on into this tree. Had a uh, big uh, snakehead follow me to the boat a little bit ago. Couldn't get him to hit, though. Kept casting there for a while. So. Hey, maybe we'll get a snakehead in the mix today. Uh, this large mouth just came right out of nowhere. Right out of these weeds. <laughs> nice. Dude, I had two snakeheads now follow me to the boat. Alright, guys. Got a large mouth in the mix. Alright, guys. So, this video is going to go up against... Uh, bunch of other YouTube channels so when everybody's video is done being made with this chatter bait um, it's gonna come down to vote and to see who has the best video out of everyone so don't forget boat bogley so mostly my target areas Got all these uh, weed beds here, slower water on the edges. Um, those last two bass, I just slowly uh, rolled right over those weed beds. Came right out. There's another one right out of the weed beds. Looks like a, yep, another larger. Fatty. Oh, got him good. Came right out of that weed bed. All right, another 
large mouth. Nice. There we go, boys. Right in the fast somewhere. Ooh! <laughs> we got ourselves a jumper! Alright. I'm trying to take my fat Albert. There's another one in the fast water. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright. Alright, little guy. So I'm not sure the weight on this. It's not uh not too heavy. Not sure where Ted got these from. Share that with us. Hey Chris, what's going on YouTube? This is Ted from Off Talk Outdoors. And uh, in this little clip here, I wanted to explain a little bit about uh, why we picked the color and what bait we were using here for the one bait challenge. Um, the, the chatter bait was picked um, and it is a reaction tackle bait. Um, and it is a quarter ounce. Now, the reason why I chose the quarter ounce is because it's it'll catch fish anywhere. Uh, along with the color, John and I decided on the chartreuse with the white uh, because we believe that that's a great all-around color, and uh, just about any fish will hit that. Uh, the quarter ounce size um, you can catch just about anything with it, and we wanted everybody to be able to catch any fish that they were going after with it. So that's the reason why we chose that bait. Uh, I wanted to thank Chris, and I wanted to thank you all for joining the one bay challenge so good luck in your videos and we can't wait to see them we have a lot of great prizes as well so thank you like i always say take a kid fishing or hunting we will preserve that sport and pass it on to future generations and we will see you there we go boys now they're small he has a bunch of other ones there with him Snakehead boys. Holy crap. Oh no, that's a flat. Yeah, snakehead. Look at how big this thing is. Woo wow. Big old snakehead. Big, big, big. Third one I've ever caught. 
Um, my biggest was uh, six, six two. Let's see what this is here. Seven, seven point five eight. Yes, sir. Well, guess what? I don't need fish, but I'm gonna have to uh, try this out. What a fish! There we go, boys. Big old snakehead, Delaware River. Hee hee. All right, guys, we're gonna fly him right down here, right on the concrete dock. Whatever, I uh, get the fillets, and then I'm gonna use the rest. I'll uh, use for catfish bait. Look at down there in the mouth of this thing, dude. Wow. Hmm. Got a big head. Well, guys, with this challenge, I couldn't have uh, asked for a better morning. I uh, got seven bass and that big snakehead. Um, just back at the dock now. Um, I'm going to go up and get stuff. I'm going to come down and flay that thing right in the river here. And uh, come up with something to uh, eat that bad boy later. And I don't eat fish, but I've heard so much of how good they are. Um, I've given some away before. I only caught two two other snakeheads. That's my third snakehead, but um, and actually I had two others follow me to the boat upriver, probably about three miles up. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll continue this challenge after this short break. All right, guys, gonna try out some of the snakehead fillet. Gonna batter it, fry it up in some oil. Alright, finished product. Not fishy at all. Not bad, yeah, that's what I heard. I'm recording this thing. Is it too hot to eat? Not fishy at all. Hmm. All right, gonna try a little Thai chili, sweet Thai chili sauce. All right, guys. Yeah, the snakehead doesn't have uh, any fishy taste to it. It's pretty good, and I I don't eat fish, so the wife likes it. She says it's really good. Very good. All right. All right, on to the main course. That there is a homemade Bogley pizza. Kelly's still chowing down on the fish. <laughs> I switched over. Oh my God. Now he's got so much. Hello, Rusty. You're so cute. Oh. 